Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII where everybody's outfits look uh, phenomenal. I am very much, I'm very much loving how the clothes look. Whoa, I love her outfit too. Arcadian Gentry. Oh, I have an elderly friend, friend, a court musician by trade. To hear him play the lute, you would think it sang. That's nice. You people are going to be a lot more boring, aren't you? Oh. Oh. Oh, bald the Okay, no, bald here, no. We go our separate ways here. Vaughn, I have some business to attend to. We'll meet again later. No, come back. Yeah, hey. Ugh. I know. I don't think he's actually told. No, he did. He told the whole group about his dad, his daddy issues. Maybe Vaughn and Penella were off playing, though. I do hope that girl found us tickets to the Mummer's Farce and the right number on the right day. She can't be trusted with such things. These old. I like to see like a, diff like a variety of people. There's older women here, too. What am I, what am I doing? Gotta find some way to sneak into the Drac Lore Laboratory. Yeah, well, okay, what am I supposed to do? Am I just supposed to wander around until both my ear figure something out <laughs> off screen? Oh, am I supposed to maybe find Larsa? Ooh, we have shops. Oh, I do need um, some stuff. An Arden. My bow and I have been working together of late. We've got quite a stack of chops to show for our troubles, too. That's nice. I don't necessarily need spells, but I do need some more gambit things. I think in particular there's like a less than 90% or something that I'm supposed to get. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's apparently very useless. I have so many. I have so many spells. I just don't know if any of these are useful. Like those are very um only ones left are like aggressive. I should have never left her behind in order to come here. She dreamed of a place where we could be happy together and it made her sad. She would spend hours gazing into the distance. Me, I gazed up at the city so sure I held the answer that it was destined for greatness. But that was the most foolish dream of all. You're a moron. Go back then, you idiot. I'm the chop master. Help you with all trade pine chops for sandal. What are what? People in our, here in Arcades, people spend their whole lives trying to get their hands on... Is that what they are talking about? I thought it was just like a bigger monetary thing. Hands on pine chops, and if they're lucky, a chop will find sandalwood. Why? Why, KFC man? Gil, they're only good for the buying and selling of goods. You can have all the gil in the world, and it won't buy you respect. That's it? It's just like having a prestigious item? The chops represent your contribution to the greater good of the empire. Common citizens might come by pinewood chops en enough during their daily lives, but it takes a soldier or some great deed to earn sandalwood. Are you serious? It's li they they they're making this is so like almost like futuristic sci-fi, right? Where it's like you're graded on your contributions to the society, but it's a system that takes advantage of people in the lower classes trying to like work their way up and make a good life for themselves they waste their time on this system instead of this the monetary system because of societal pressures and the people at the top don't have to do diddly squat to get these like you know these, these prestigious items they could just buy them probably you know or like take the credit for somebody else's achievements like oh my gosh what a crackpot system. wasting time on something that isn't even like gonna help you survive you know 
It's like, it, it's just, it's splitting people's attentions who actually need to spend the time, you know, feeding their families and stuff. Even if you want to be like, not like struggling to survive, but like, you know, make a decent living, go travel once a year, you know, never, you know, you don't have to worry about food, you could pay your bills, you know, a comfortable life that is distracted from by this asinine system of pieces of wood. <laughs> Like, holy cow, I'm... I'm upsetty spaghetti that this exists. Ooh, there they are. Yes, let me go see these over here. I have so much money now. Also, I should try to find an airship place. But I wish you could see my, the camera. Sorry, the camera is like at best like this so that I can see where I'm going. But it's always so sad for video games. I feel like they make such a pretty skyline sometimes and then you get stuck stuck looking at the ground but here's the city I just can't walk like this oh okay see getting distracted oh you're oh wow I like your outfit I like your outfit a lot actually I'm not much one for like crop top shirts but I like the tunic underneath Love those long shirts that are like asymmetrical at the bottom. It's my jam. If I if I was able to wear anything except field clothes. <laughs> oh no, this is not what I wanted. Dang it. It's okay. Dang it. Oh. Sure. Actually, let me actually buy the other one too. I don't know if I need it, but I'll, but I want it. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh no. I'll write a book again. Well, and it just seems like it, it, the system like profiteers off the labor of like lower middle class people, right? Who do a lot of work like that or run around getting all the information and then selling it off to those who actually do something with it, right? Or like you have this hope, and maybe it's, there's, there's a thing, there's probably are some people that do well at that, right? But that only encourages the like, the like myth of success. Um, Dorian says it really, really well in, um, Dragon Age. What? I don't even remember what the freaking symbols are. I want to find a gambity place. Is that the. <laughs> What's the gambit symbol? Let me look it up. It is a. Blah, according to this very brief thing that I looked at, it is the orange diamond. So I'm just looking to see if what else is over here. Oh, did you see them, Mama? It was truly splendid. Splendid. It made me feel like a maiden in the spring of her youth once more. How I'd love to share this with my daughter. Okay. Travel. My work is taking me far and wide. I'm getting moved. Why? Well, I'm on the road for another six months a year. Danger, near misses, daily affairs. Of course, I take care to wear the proper protectives. And my sword arm is good enough to hold off your average fell beast. Okay. These people are a lot more boring. A lot more unaware of life around them, it seems. Oh, hey. A traveling mama taught me this one. Used to live here in the city, so we said. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, I just bought thousands of gill worth of gambits. I got all the foe, well, most of the foe status stuff. If not all, I didn't get, like, the health. Like, the number ones, I got the percentage ones, I think those are more valuable. Um, but yeah, I didn't get those. Uh, but I got so much. Hopefully, uh, that's good enough. <laughs> um, but I kind of wanted to buy them all, just to, just to have it. I remember my gambits as though it were yesterday. There's so many new gambits these days. Tis hard to tell one from the other. Yes, yes, yes. Quite. Quite. A 
all these old guys. It's like the guys who play uh, Warhammer on the tables in the in the board game stores. Okay, I just went on a massive shopping trip. I uh, bought a bunch of armor and weapons that they can't equip yet. Maybe not a good idea. I don't know, but I but I they are stuff that they'll be able to equip soon. I uh, remember to get the armor and uh, weapon upgrades that they need for it. So I feel like it was a good investment. Sometimes you know you level up in the field and you're like, oh crap, like you know I gear is not really great, like I'm just gonna sit around waiting or something and or go back and find it, you know. None of that. What is this and then? Oh a chop. Oh hey, I have friends with me. You pay coin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. Not this guy again. Oh my gosh, I do not Oh, I hate this guy. I have a message from Master Balthier. He's waiting in Central. It says to come quickly. But we need a chop. When a boy wants information, that's right. A boy pays. Sure, whatever. Uh, it's a mark of status, a writ of transit on others. If you were aiming to go to Central, I think you need three chops. How do you get them? You do your part here in the street, talk to the right people, you're in your chop. I love that it's chops, too, like, you know, like, what is, like, the, there's, like, a phrase for it, right? Like, like, you've earned your chops or some, something where it's, like, it's, like, your metal, you know, like, you're, you're, you've proven yourself, you know? Oh, people in Arcades love doing good deeds. Why, if they're helping you out, it must mean they're superior, understand, boy? Not sure I do, because I'm a moron, but sure, thanks. Oh, she's looking at him. She knows he's going to be trouble. She knows. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's like, eh, eh, eh. Friends like, I've had enough of that guy. Oh. I want to give him some word of encouragement, but I'm so busy. Worry not, I tell him such things only cost one million gil or so. Your concern should not should be the bigger picture, not such trifling details. I want him to know. I want him. To, I want him to know I'm on his side. You see. Commit this tale to memory. Does that mean I can only have like one committed to memory? It is like heaven for me, plenty to read, and no one telling me how to do otherwise. The laboratory library is the envy of every student. There's no greater store of obscure texts anywhere else in you. I thought Ivalis was like the country, but I wasn't sure. Relate the tale of the word. Ah, uh, yeah, I was like, I don't know. So we've got an avid reader there. Carrying arms for the armor, man. You should have a gander. Yeah, okay, I, I cannot. All right, you know what? Nope, I am not running around looking for people. Tell me where you are. East of her, speak to the failed researcher. A horrible mistake. Here you go. One million? She doesn't want me to pay for it, please, no. I'm weak at the finer points, but she doesn't mean to end my research, does she? Not such trifling details. Trifling? Is that what I am? Trifling? I'm finished. That's what I am. I'd be a fool to think otherwise. And to say such things through another. If she's to chastise me, I'd have her do it to my face. My thanks. A chop for your trouble. Wow. Thanks. That was, uh, that was fast. Uh, let's see if we can grab anything else. Uh-huh. Okay, you don't have it. words for me. These chaps running pell-mell about the city. Newcomers are always this way, working up a sweat as they claw their way up the ladder. You look to be in much the same situation as was I long ago. Never fear, you'll get there as I have. Chin up, onwards and upwards and all of that. Sure. Uh, do you want to know about this? Uh, uh... 
Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Like this guy's like working really hard and now he wants to he wants to hear that that there's a chance. Look, I ain't got many my myself, but up here yeah, you are you you're oh my goodness, you've gotta look out for each other. So you can have one of my chops and I'll see you at the top. I don't know why it's like sounds very British, but also Yerv is very southern to me. All right, well we're we're getting there. This is like going a lot faster than I thought it would. Never been cross with him, have I? You, I think I was already talking to her. Materialistic woman, I yearn for some new jewelry and one ring in particular, a rare blue diamond. I saw it just yesterday. Yet we can ill afford such luxury, and you never know when we might need extras for an emergency. Still, my husband's enterprise has done well. I'm sure we'll have gills soon enough. That was a waste of my time. Senior researcher, you're I hate, hate you. Don't want to talk to you. Anybody else who has a story for me? Come here. Ah, oh, the Enterprise. The worried hu- Oh no, this is the materialistic. Oh ho! Have my wages and things were going so well. How am I to tell my wife? I don't have the courage to face her. I can't go home like this. Hey, I have a, uh, I have a uh, gossip for you, lady, materialistic woman. This is very convenient that they're all in the same plaza. I was gonna lose my mind if it was gonna be something else. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. His wages have? What ill tidings are these? And what are my blue diamond? Why, to afford it now, there's not but my dowry purse to. Oh! Now there's a thought. I can't believe it never occurred to me before. I have more than enough gill to buy a piffling diamond. A fine idea. My thanks. He's like worried about finances and she's like, oh, let me just use that money instead of, you know, helping the family out. I'm gonna buy a diamond. I love this place. I love this place. I'm not gonna talk to you. Let me, let me ride. I potentially should have talked to him, but I don't like him. He's very patronizing, and I think he's just going to be trouble in the future. That was remarkably easy, also. Well, thank you! Oh, so please, you could join me. Jules had a morsel for us. A light airship used by track pool researchers is just up ahead. We'll take that and go in through the service entrance. Let's make haste, shall we? I'm trying to do my best Fenris impression. Well, not Fen by both of your impression, but with a Fenris undertone. And uh, I don't think it's working, but I'm doing my, my darndest. North! If I have to do any other shenanigans and chicanery. Oh, hello? Speaking of shenanigans and chicanery. The complices of the Senate have been quelled, Your Honor. Our forces sustained but light casualties. You'll have leave to withdraw. Huh? One detachment will remain here to guard Draclaw. My lord. The... Senate was quelled? Oh my. Do you think they're on to us? It would seem not. Though this will make our task more difficult still. The only armor that Bosch has on is on his thighs. Oh. I do wish these soldiers would leave the running about to the children, all that clinging of metal. Yeah, 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 yeah. It sounded as if something was afoot. Indeed, indeed. Something is afoot. I'm sure I can totally just walk in. <gasps> Docent. I'm terribly sorry. There's an emergency. She looks very different than everybody else does. What is what is this? I don't understand what this place is. Know what I mean? Mm, he said Balthier is like going to the service entrance, and I'm like, oh, is that that? I can't get in there. 
Both out here. You can't just leave me here like this. This is gonna make our job harder. Yeah, but how else? Looking down on them. Nothing quite so satisfying as looking down on other people, is it? Okay. Okay, good. I was like, I don't know what you want me to do here. <laughs> Certainly took your time getting here, didn't you? Off seeing the sights, perhaps? Listen, I was getting supplies for everybody. Not likely. You know how long it took to get the chops to get up here? At less than time than I thought. What's that? But I gave Jules some chops. Yeah. Mm. Jules! <laughs> a squad of judges has been sent to Dracula. You'll find the service entrance rather difficult proposition, I'm afraid. I don't trust this man. You're doing, no doubt. Yeah, no, for reals. This guy is, like, trying to use us in, like, every way. Like, he's, like, double agenting. You knew that how the Ministry of Law would move, so you had Van out collecting chops until the judges could reinforce Draclaw. Of course. Tell me, how much did the Ministry pay for Ward of the Prodigal's Son? The Ministry? Oh, judges make poor customers, my friend. Too many rules, too many laws. Perhaps you didn't know, Master Balthier, that Draclaw is a toy box these days, filled with your Lord Father's conceits. All developed without the Senate's knowledge, of course. Why, not even the Emperor knew the full extent of Dr. Sid's operations. Now, here's the catch. Since Vane had himself declared dictator, nary a peep has come out of that laboratory. I know people who would sell their own mum for the nearest scrap of information about the goings-ons inside Draclor. People like Rosarian sympathizers worried about the em I can't- now, now I've messed it up. Worried about the Empire's weapons programs and anyone else who might be opposed to a house Solidor hegemony. Freaking Balthair knows what is up. Like, we would not do nearly as well without Balthair. So, we create a disturbance, and you get your windfall of dirt on Draclor. And in exchange for your service, I've spoken to a cabbie. When he asks where you want to go, tell him you know where to go. Simple, no? Ah, a deal brokered in true Aunt Katie's fashion. Why, it's just like old times, Jules. Brings a tear to my eye. Good to be back, eh? My regards to your Lord Father, Master Fram Fram Fran, or rather, Master Balthair. Anon, anon. Who is this guy? Oh, kitty! Hi! What do you want? I'd be proud you've made it this far. Sure, uh huh. Okay. You know where to go. Yep, let's go. I've already been shopping. There's not a lot of sightseeing to do around here. I mean, there could be, technically. So this Jules, is he some old friend of yours both the year? You two seemed close. Close enough for fisticuffs. Driver, faster if you please. I'd be loath to expend any of my violence of my present mood on my companions. Yeah. <laughs> sir, yes sir. Why isn't that part? Those parts are not voice acted. I'm sad. Ooh, big cutscene. You can tell there's a change in like frames almost it looks. Where to? Come, this way. Balthair has always been a troublemaker, I think. Well, no, I guess he said he did. He did try to be what his father expected of him, but I think he's always been a troublemaker deep down. A bit of a mischief maker. The Draclor Laboratory. Fancy, fancy. It's too quiet. Passing strange. There are supposed to be guards here. Uh, Maybe you were just lucky, huh? Oh, shut up. Maybe you're just optimistic. Freaking Pinello and both a year. No like, time oh my for gosh. caution. Step to it. Sid's chambers are on the top level. I love him. I love Balthair very, very much. Ah, uh, he just is out. I would love to cosplay as him someday. He has, like, such a, like, slick-looking outfit. I love it a lot. Ah, uh, should I bring Vaughn out? I don't want to. Mm, but I might regret it someday. Ah. Uh, 
Oh, I did get an achievement earlier too, where I apparently sold a thousand items. So that's cool. <laughs> Yay for me. I'm sure, well, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure there's an achievement. Like, I would assume there's an achievement for buying all the, um, gambits. So that was part of the reason I was going to do that. But then I was like, hold on. Like, I still got to go get some armor and weapons and stuff. So, luckily, I, uh, did hold myself back a bit. potentially gonna call it here on well, I guess I am gonna call it here but I guess it may end up being smashed into a part of a larger episode of lots of grinding that I'm gonna edit out but we'll see uh, but thank you all so much for joining me I appreciate it uh, really quick I want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons are too special recently you know my sapling tier patron thank you so much for your support and an extra special shout out to Adam my tree tier patron thank you so so much for your support my friend uh, it truly means a lot. Like, I, I hope you're doing well. And I got distracted, so I got an email. <laughs> but thank you again. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Boris Tier patron, who's gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I cannot thank you enough. So thank you guys again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs>